short thumb opponent's splint. You will need a deep electric water bath, a piece of orphit material, a heat gun for making minor adjustments, a spatula to turn over the orphit while it's in the water bath, and a pair of scissors. Position the patient's hand, palm down, on a paper towel on a flat surface. Mark an A by the IP joint. At a point equidistant from both the thumb and forefinger, mark a B. At an equidistant spot on the radial side from point B, mark a C. At the radial aspect of the wrist at the CMC joint, mark a D. Mark an E at the ulnar aspect of the wrist at the CMC joint. Mark an F at the base of the fifth metacarpal. Connect points E and F with a curved line. Then connect points D and C with another curved line. Have the patient lift up their hand from the pattern. Then connect points D and E with a straight line. Next connect points C and A and points A and B. Curve the line outward and downward to connect points B and F. Place the cutout pattern on a piece of Orfit material. Then cut out the pattern. Alternately, the pattern can be traced onto the Orfit and then cut out. Place the pattern into the deep electric water bath. Take out the heated material and place it around the patient's thumb and dorsal aspect of the hand. Make sure to pull the material up and over so that it covers the patient's first web space. Pull the material ulnarly so that it wraps around the dorsal aspect of the patient's hand until it covers the patient's hypothenar eminence. Allow the material to sit on patient's hand so that the material sets. This is especially important because Orfit has a high degree of memory. This means that the split material will need to be held in position longer as it may shrink and not fit the patient if removed before the material has set. Note how the splint is blocking IP flexion as well as wrist extension. It is also too high by the 4th and 5th MCP joints. Mark the excess areas so that you can make the necessary adjustment. Remove the splint from the patient's hand. Cut off the extra material, including the ink. Dip the thumb part of the splint into the deep electric water bath so that the material softens slightly. 
This will allow you to roll back the softened material. Use the heat gun to soften the edges of the splints. Now roll back these edges. Dip the bottom of the splint back into the water bath so that you can flare the softened edge. Gently slide the splint onto the patient's hand. Make sure the splint does not block wrist extension. Make sure that the splint clears the crease at the IP joint so that flexion is possible. Make sure that the thinner eminence is covered as well.